identify this plier and its use during stainless steel crown procedure. Now, such image-based questions are asked very frequently in the recent NEET and AIMS examination and the only way of answering these questions is to be familiar with the images. You can only do that if you have gone through the images in the textbooks. So, it is very important to go through all the images which are given in the textbooks, not just of appliances but also materials, devices, etc. And not just from one textbook but from multiple textbooks as these questions can be asked from anywhere. So, coming back to the question, uh, whether uh, they have asked us whether this is a Gordon plier and used for contouring, whether it's a Johnson plier used for crimping or if it's a crimping plier used for crimping or if it's a ball and socket plier used for proximal adjustment. Now, how can we identify uh, this, uh, uh, how can we identify this plier and what do the other pliers look like? Let's take a look. So, this is what a Gordon's plier looks like. It has uh, elongated beaks which appear like scissors however there is no blade in them it is only used for contouring and shaping of the crown a johnson plier on the other hand is also used for contouring but it looks very different from a gordon's plier its beaks uh, have a concave surface and a convex surface so it is used for contouring and also uh, for tightening the crown so that the adjustment and the fit of the crown can be tightened a crimping plier is used for crimping. So, in the options, we were asked whether they were used for contouring and crimping. So, here you can see a Johnson plier used for crimping. This is wrong because a Johnson plier is used for contouring. A crimping plier is used for crimping. However, this is what a crimping plier looks like. It has it has these rectangular uh, uh, bevels at the beak, at the tip of the beak, which is used for crimping the gingival third of the crown. So, this is what a crimping this is what crimping is where only the gingival third of the crown is crimped and this is what contouring is so contouring is done on all the surfaces of the crown and the entire surface is contoured to uh, to uh, develop the shape of the uh, the anatomical shape of the crown whereas crimping is done only on the gingival third using a crimping plier that is what a crimping plier is. Then the last is the Abel's ball and socket plier. Now, if you can't appreciate it very well in this image, however, here you can see that in Abel's ball and socket joint that is used to create contact points on the proximal surfaces of the crown. Now, and, uh, similar to a Johnson plier, this also has a convex and a concave surface on its beaks. However, the convex surface is more ball shaped than the elongated curve which is seen on a Johnson's plier. So, a Johnson's plier has a curve which is convex whereas an Abel's ball and socket plier as the name suggests has a ball shaped edge on the beak. So, this is used for creating contact points. So, as you can see the different pliers are very characteristics in the, uh, characteristic in their shape and the image that was given in the question is that of a Gordon's plier because it has this characteristic long elongated beaks which appears like a dolphin's snout.